Hello and welcome to another VB.NET tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can copy contents of a text file from one text file to another text file in VB.NET. First of all, you need a text file. In order to create a text file, all you need to do is right click on your project in the Solution Explorer and click on Add New Item. Once you do that, it gives you a bunch of items to choose from, and in the list you'll find text file. You can click text file, you can give it a name, and click add. As a result, you get a text file. I already added a text file and populated it with some data, so you can put a text file out there and push some data through. One of the other things you can do is you can simply click on the text file, and down in the full path, you can get to see the path of the text file. So what I did, I copied this path. Then I double click on the button. In the button, I created two variables. One was called SRC and one is called DST. In the SRC, I provided the name along with the full path of my text file, which is source. In the other one, I provided my destination text file. The only difference, as you can see, between the names is one is called names list, the other one is called names list backup.txt. All we do is we use a Visual Basic built in function called io.file.copy, to which we provide the source and destination objects. So it grabs the data from the source and copies everything into the destination. Now let's test this. So as you run this program, all you need to do is click copy file and that will complete the process. Provided the file doesn't already exist, otherwise we're gonna come back and tell you the file doesn't exist. So usually we write an if condition to, to check to see if the file already exists or not. So now let me stop this, and let me go to that location of uh, the file, text file, which I can right click and I can either go through the properties or I can simply right click on my project and I can say open folder in File Explorer. Either way, I get to see my folder. And here you can see the name list backup. As I double click on it, you will see that all the names that are wrote in name list automatically appear right here because we were able to successfully copy the contents from one text file to another.